Let's see how to figure out the expression for the function of x. First, we can calculate f of 1. f of 1 equals r 1 over 1. Using the given condition, we can write as r of 1 over r of 1. You know, we cancel it, so we get 1. We denote that as condition 1. Now, a big trick here is we view x as a variable and y is a constant and take the derivative with respect to x. Let's see. So we take the derivative with respect to x. Using chain rule, it equals the derivative of the outer function. So we apply x over y times the derivative of the inner function. But x is the variable, so you see we get 1 over y, right? The right side, r apply x. r of y is just a constant. Now, we let y equals x. So we get r apply x over x, so which is 1, times 1 over x. The right side, r prime x over r x. Now, you see this one is actually a constant. So let k denote the constant, r prime at 1. So we get k over x equals r prime x over r x. Next, we integrate both sides. So the left side becomes k times ln x. The right side, ln r of x plus constant c1. But the left side can be written as ln x to the power of k. The right side still ln of x plus constant c1. Now, we take both sides as the exponents of e. So we get e to the power of ln x to the power of k equals e to the power of ln of x times e to the power of c1, right? You see the left side is actually x to the power of k, the right side of x times e to the power of c1. Both sides times e to the power of negative c1. So we write f x first. So f x equals e to the power of negative c1 times x to the power of k. That just counts that, right? So we denote that c. So we denote that c x to the power of k. Now, let's determine the value of the constant c using 1. From 1, we know 1 equals f of 1. So plug in. So we get c times 1 to the power of k. We know just c. So the end is c equals 1. So we get the expression for f x equals x to the power of k. It turns out k can be any real number. So k can be any real number. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.